there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to do a little bit of an update, and we're also going to be talking about Baring's podcast with Thomas Smith. So, unfortunately with the podcast, I wasn't able to catch the majority of the beginning of it, and as of making this video, I actually am not watching the very ending of it. However, I believe it's coming close to its ending, so I got the general gist of it. If there's anything else that I'm missing uh, when I actually talk about this particular pod podcast, uh, please let me know in the comments below and you know give me your thoughts and feelings about the podcast as well, because I'd be happy to hear anything you guys have to say. Um, so to start off with, I just want to say that it was actually a surprisingly it was an interesting conversation. I didn't really feel like either side was really angry or anything else like that at one another, though there was a couple of points where Baring maybe lost a little bit of his, you know, I, I best way I could put it would be uh, he lost a little bit of his cool there um, when, he, when they were discussing a couple of things about the Sargon's tweet. Um, the majority of the actual podcast was based around Sargon's tweet, which I felt was really annoying because it was the same thing that essentially as uh, Thomas was trying to do when they were over there at um, Myth Mythicist, because all he was really trying to do was talk about how bad Sargon's tweet was. Okay, Thomas, okay, we get it. The tweet was bad. It was in bad taste. It was a horrible thing to take. Okay, your virtue signaling is done. Move the fuck on, okay? I don't think anybody here, anybody, even Sargon himself, would probably disagree that it wasn't really necessarily a good thing to say. Like, it's not like anyone's saying that it was a good thing to fucking say. You know what I mean? So, needless to say, I'm, I'm just a little confused by his desire and just want to constantly talk about that and how apparently bad it is. Now, of course, that being said, uh, there were obviously, of course, other things they did discuss. They were talking a lot about, uh, the, the, most of it, of course, they were talking about was mostly just language. They were just talking about the arguments of, oh, how can you uh, say one thing or say another thing and it means something else or something like that. And, of course, Thomas himself is being caught in a lot of different um, situations where he says one thing and then apparently he's taking it back in another I know a lot of people can actually have issues when it comes to talking and using particular language um, because I myself have that problem. I myself um, had a little bit of an issue when I was talking about the Mandalay shooting. In my video, I actually specifically said that someone chose to go crazy and go and whatever. Now, by context, I didn't actually mean that they chose to go crazy. Language-wise, I didn't actually specifically mean that they chose to go crazy. It's that they went crazy. I'm just saying that they chose to go crazy in the sense of saying that they went went crazy. So I understand where that kind of language um, can come from and how someone can say something and not necessarily mean something. and Or when they say something, they don't necessarily mean it the way that they say it or something else along those particular lines. I, I can completely understand that particular argument. Now, I will say, however, that when an individual like Thomas says a lot of things that he apparently didn't mean to say, you start to kind of question whether or not he meant to say it or if he didn't mean to say it. Because I can understand a slip up here and there. I, I myself, like I said, do it. But there are a lot of situations where if you're constantly doing it, maybe you're not necessarily saying it the way that you mean. You know what I mean? Maybe you are saying it, you are saying it the way you mean. But I digress. Uh, pretty much the arguments from there went um, from more language policing, I guess you could say. Um, <clears throat> Mythicist uh, Milwaukee apparently did a podcast with Thomas um, and Baring, of course, wanted to play a few of those parts, or a few pieces of it, even though Thomas was very against it being released or being played because he didn't really agree with it. Um, apparently, um, he was saying that it was a podcast that wasn't even recorded or it wasn't even whatever and that whatever, whatever. And obviously, of course, that was not true. They specifically said at the very beginning of the, of the podcast that it was recorded. However, the podcast has not been released yet, or at least as of the making of this particular video or their podcast, um, with Baring and, and Thomas. Now, he was very against it being a thing, and I don't really understand the reasoning behind that, considering the fact that it's going to more than likely be released at some point anyways. So what's the point of caring whether or not... I mean, all of your dirty laundry is going to end up being put out onto the internet at some point anyways, because it was recorded. And clearly it was recorded and handed to Baring, and Baring had 
a copy of it. it pretty much the whole, I didn't really, like I said, unfortunately catch the very beginning of the argument, I re, or, or their argument, uh, beginning of the actual podcast with Barry and Thomas, so I don't entirely know what they were talking about originally. I just know what they were talking about pretty much in the middle and near the very end of it, which was pretty much the entire time talking about Sargon's tweet. I felt like, they were constantly just throwing arguments, especially Thomas. I don't know sure how much bearing was, but I, I kind of was paying attention to, to trying to listen to what Thomas had to say a lot. And it felt like Thomas was throwing out a lot of like, oh, well, you're just straw manning my argument. Oh, well, you're just, you know, just using a bunch of logical fallacies to throw at people just for the sake of throwing at people. He was like, he just, you know, just to say that his argument's better. And then, of course, he never actually confirmed anything that he himself believed he never really actually i mean he, he says it a couple of times like well i do believe blah 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 but he never really wants to give you a direct straight answer he wants to give you one of those vague understanding answers where it's like oh well i don't want to blot it with the blah but i have the blah and when i believe the blah with the blah the blah you know what i mean and it's just like this all rig r like just run together arguments or all these run together like comments about how what he believes or what he doesn't believe and how he kind of like wants to be specific on i i, I don't know how to be how to really describe it it just it feels like he's just running a whole bunch of things together where with, with, it comes with beliefs and they never actually comes to an actual belief like what it is he believes in like i have no idea what thomas believes in after all that podcast i have no idea what he believes in i have no idea what he thinks about bearing i have no idea really i have an idea of what he thinks about sargon i'm pretty sure he thinks he's a disgusting human being but i just i don't get anything from him other than I'm, I'm in, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, you know what I mean? And I just, I, I can't, I can't even like describe how confusing listening to him ta is. Now that, whether that be I'm intellectually I I idiotic or be he's just trying to vaguely comment about random things that make somewhat sense or, so or try to make some kind of sense out of something so that he never actually really specifically states what his belief is, I don't know. Aside from that, though, I didn't really see anything else. Obviously, of course, Baring was making a few comments and made a few, I wouldn't necessarily say straw man arguments, but um, he did make a few arguments against Thomas that I don't necessarily come entirely, think. that kind of felt like they were a little bit over the top, like they were a little, maybe you could consider them straw man, because I don't really know no other word to put it, but... I'm not necessarily saying that Baring was just outright doing that because obviously, like I said, I was trying to pay more attention to what Thomas was saying and for the most part anyways. And to me, Thomas was just throwing out the word straw man in my argument like constantly. So I don't know. And unfortunately, I have no idea what Thomas's argument was and he was the only person I was really trying to pay attention to. Oh, one thing they did talk about one of uh, the earlier part of the, of the video that I actually did catch was they were talking about like the differential like dip treatment between races and how like a white person gets shot more often, but a, but a black person is more likely to get shot. Um, but and of course, uh, I think that he made a very good argument. I think Barry made a very good argument in this particular situation where um, it feels a little like like Thomas's group, not necessarily Thomas himself, but Thomas's group is oftentimes putting studies forward that include the idea of population um, into why something happens, like the number of population, um, the population ratio essentially um, of black individuals and how how more it happens more often to say a black individual and how it, like the ratio is way off. Whereas in other parts of this, they kind of exclude it, even though ratio wise, like for example, with a white person being more likely to be found with drugs, that's like, they're saying that that's has nothing to do with population. Um, that has nothing to do with, uh, the fact that there's a larger population of white people. It's just the fact that they're, more more likely that white people are going to have that it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that there's more white people but i digress um effectively i don't think a lot of it was actually accomplished i do hope that individual that each individual will like found a 
better understanding of each side, maybe a better understanding for each other, or, and so on and so forth. Um, but I don't really know necessarily. Obviously, we'll have to see as things go along. Um, but I certainly hope uh, that everyone else was able to catch it. If you weren't, please go back and ch check it. The recording, obviously, will be on Bearing's um, channel. So definitely go and check that out. I will probably link it in the description for you guys. Um, I certainly hope you like this particular video and this little rundown of what happened in the in the podcast and my little take on what happened. Um, if you guys did, go on and hit that like button if you did. If you really liked it, go on and hit that share button. And if you loved it, of course, go on and hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like more notifications of when I stream or when I come out with another video, please hit that bell button. And of course, if you'd like to support the channel, feel free to support the channel any way you like. You can support it on the Patreon. You can support it on PayPal. And you can just support it by hitting the subscribe button however way you'd like and of course as always guys good luck out there and don't forget to have fun